The Uses of Diversity, Clifford Gertz. Anthropology, my Frulich Wiesenkraft, has been fatally involved over the whole course of its history. A long one if you start with Herodotus, where the short if you start with Taylor. With the vast variety of ways in which men and women have tried to live their lives, at some points it has sought to deal with that vari variety by capturing it in some universalizing nets of theory, evolutionary states, bad humans, ideas or practices, or transcendental forms, structures, archetypes, archetypes subterranean gr grammars, at others, it does stresses particularly idiosyncrasy, incommensurability, cabbages, and kings. But recently, it has found itself faced with something new, the possibility that the variety is rapidly softening into a pallor and narrowed spectrum. We may be faced with a world in which there simply aren't any more headhunters, matrilinearists, or people who predict the weather from the entrails of a pig. Difference will, difference will doubtless remain. The French will never eat salted b b butter, but the good old days of widow burning and cannibalism are gone forever. Itself, as a professional issue, issue this process of the softening of cultural contrast, assuming it is real, it perhaps not so disturbing. Anthropologists will simply have to learn to make something of subtler, subtler, subtler differences, and their writings may grow more serene or if less spectacular. But it raises a broader issue, moral, aesthetic, and con cognitive at once, that is much more troubling, and which lies at the center of much current discussion about how it is is that values are not be justified. That I will call, that I will call, I will call, just to have something that sticks in the mind. The future of ethnocentrism. I shall come back to come to some of those more general discussion after a bit for it is toward then that my overall concern is directed but as a way into the problem I want to begin with the presentation of an argument I unusual I think and more than a little disconcerting disconcerting with the French anthropologist Claude Lévi-Strauss it's developed at the beginning of his recent collection of essays cons consciously contentiously entitled contentiously at least for an anthropologist the view from the from afar le legard eloine levi strauss argument arose in the first place in response to unesco invitation to deliver a public lecture to open the international year to combat racism and racial discrimination which in case in case you missed it, it was in 1971. I was chosen. I was chosen, he writes. Because 20 years earlier I had written a pamphlet called Race and History for UNESCO, in which I had stated a few basic truths. I saw basic truths. In 1971, I, so I soon realized that UNESCO expected me simple to repeat them but 20 years early in order to serve the international institution I which I felt I had so to support more than I do today I had some somewhat overseed overstated my point in the conclusion to race and history because of my age perhaps and certainly because of the of relations inspired by the present state of the world I was now dis disgusted by this obligingless and was convinced convinced that if I if I was to be useful to UNESCO and fulfill my commitment on it honestly I should have to speak in complete freakness frankness frankness as usual 
thin uh, end of coat. As usual, that turned out not to be al altogether a good idea, and something of the of a first followed. Member of the UNESCO staff were dismayed that I sh I had challenged the catechism, the acceptance of which had allowed to allowing them to move from modest jobs in developing developing countries to sacrifice positions and executive in international institutions then the director general of unesco another de determinate determinate frenchman unexpectedly unexpectedly took the floor so as to can reduce levi Strauss time to speak and thus forcing him to make the improvise the improvising the, improv the improvising session as issues that had been suggested to him. Levi Strauss, incorrigible, incorrigible, read this his entire text apparently in high speed in the time in the time left. All that aside, a normal day at the UNESCO and the U United, United at the UN. The problem with Levi Strauss talks was was that. In it, rib, in it, I rebelled against the abuse of language by which people tend more and more to confuse racism with attitudes that are normal, even legitimate, and in any case unavoidable. That is, though he does not call in that ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism, Levi Strauss argues, is that is that in that piece race and culture and somewhat more technically in another, the anthropologist and the human condition, writing about a decade further on, is not only not in itself a bad thing, but at least so long as it does not get out of hand, writer a good one. Loyalty to a certain set of values inevitably makes people partially or totally insensitive of to other values to which other people e equally parochial are equally loyal in it is not at all the individuals to place invidious to place one weight of life or throw above all others or to feel little drawn to other values values such relative income Incommunicability does not authorize anyone to oppress or destroy the values they rejected or those who carry them, but absent that it is not at all repugnant. Quote, it might even be the price to be paid so that the systems of value of each spiritual family or each community are preserved and find within themselves the resources necessary for the renewal. If human societies exhibit a certain op optimal diversity beyond which they cannot go, but below which they can no longer descend, descend without danger, we must recognize that to a large extent this diversi diversity results from the desire of each culture to resist the cultures surrounding it to distinguish itself from them in sort to be in sort to be itself cultures are not unaware of one another they even borrow from one another on occasions but in others but in order not to perish, they must in order connections remain somewhat impermeable toward one another. End of quote. It is thus not only an illu illusion that humanity can wholly free itself from ethnocentrism, or even that it even that it will care to do so. It will not be a good thing if it did if it did if it did do so much as much as such a freedom will lead a world who was culture and passionately found one of found of one another will aspire only to celebrate one another in such confusion that each will lose any attraction it could have for the others and its own reason for ex existing distance lends if not if not 
en enchantment anyway indifference and thus integrity in the past when so-called primitive cultures were only very marginally involved with one another referring to themselves as the the true ones the good ones or just the human beings and dismissing those across those across the river or over the ridge as the her monkeys or those eggs and it's and it and it's not or not fully human cultural integrity was readily maintained a profound indifference to the to to other culture was a guarantee that they could exist in their own manner and on their own terms now when such a situation clear no longer obtains and everyone increasingly crowded on a small planet is deeply interested in everyone interested in everyone else and in everyone else business the possibility of the loss of such integrity because of the loss of such indifference looms Ethnocentrism can perhaps never entirely disappear, being consubstantial with our species, but it can grow, but it can grow dangerously weak, leaving us prey to a sort of moral entropy. Quote, we are doubtless deluding ourselves with a dream when we think that equality and fraternity will someday ring among human beings without compromising their diversity. However, in human in humanity is not resigned to become a, a sterile consumer of values that it managed to create in the past, capable only of giving birth to bastard works, to gross and purely inventions. Then, it must learn once again that all true creation implies a certain deafness of the appeal of other values, even going so far as to reject them, is if not denying them alt altogether. From one, from one cannot fully enjoy the other, identify with them, and yet at the same time remain indifferent. When integral communication with the other is achieved completely, it sooner or later spells down for both his his and my creativity his and my creativity the great creative creative eras were were those in which communication had become adequate for mutual stimulation by remote partners yet was not too was not so frequent or so rapid as to engage endanger the ins indispensable obstacles between individuals and groups or to the reduce them to the point where over life facile exchanges might equal equalize and nullify their diversity. End of quote. How whatever one thinks one thinks of all this or however surprises one is to hear it's conf conf is coming from an anthropologist. It certainly strikes a contemporary short chord. The attractions of deafness, of the appeal of other values, and of relaxed and enjoyed approach to one's imprisoned in one's own culture, tradition, are increasingly celebrated in recent social thought. Unable to embrace either relativism or absolutism, the first because it disables that judgment, the second because it removes from Re remove it from history. Our philosophers, historians, and social scientists turn, turn toward the sort of we are, we are we, and they are they. Impermeability, impermeability, Levi Strauss recommends. Whatever one regard this arrogance made easy, prejudice justified, prejudice justify, or as the splendid here stand I. Honesty of flattering your corners. Quote, when, when in Rome do as, when in when in Rome do as you done in Millet Givel. It clearly puts the question of the future of ethnocentrism and of cultural diversi diversity in rather a new light. In drawing back, distancing elsewhere, the view from from afar, really the way to escape the. This desperate tolerance of UNESCO, cosmo, 
cosmopoli cosmopolitanism in the interactive of moral entropy, moral narcissism. The forces making for a warmer view of cultural self-centeredness over the last 25 or 30 years are multiple. There are those states of the, of the world, matter to which Levi-Strauss allude, allows, and most especially the failure of most third world countries to live up to those thousands flowers hopes for them current just before and just after the independence struggles. Amin, Bocasa, Pol Pot, Comeini, and at the extremes, Marcos, Mobuto, Sukarno, and Mrs. Gandhi, less extravagantly, have put something of a shield on the notion that there are worlds elsewhere to which our own compares clearly ill. There is the successive unmasking of the Marxist utopias, the Soviet Union, China, Cuba, Vietnam, and there is the weakening of the deadline, decline of the West pessimism induced by World War, World Depression, and the loss of empire. But there is also, and I think not least important, the rise in awareness that the universal consensus, transnational, transcultural, even transclass, or on normative matters is not in the offing. Everyone, everyone seeks so socialist, positivist, ish, Irishman is not going to come around to a common opinion concerning that is decent and what is not, what is just, what is just and what is not, what is just and what is not, what is beautiful and what is not, what is reasonable and what is not. So not soon perhaps not never. In, if one abandons, and of course not everyone, perhaps not even most everyone, has the idea that the world is moving toward essential agreement of fundamental matters, or even, as Levi Strauss, that is true, the, ne the new appeal of relax, relax and enjoy it, and, and it nothing just naturally grows. If our values <coughs> If our values cannot be distinguished from our history and our institutions and nobody else can be distinguished from theirs, then there will seem to be nothing for it, for it but to follow Emerson and stand and on our own feet and speak with our own voice. I hope to suggest Richard Rorty writes in a recipe's recipes marvelously entitled postmodernist bourgeois liberalism how we postmodernist bourgeois liberals might convince our other society that loyalty to itself <coughs> to itself is loyalty enough that it needs to to be <coughs> to be responsible on only to its own traditions that an anthropologist in search of the conscience loss underline the ob observable diversify of beliefs and institutions levi -Strode, arrives at from the side of rationalism and high science a philosopher persuaded that there is no ground for our loyalties and convictions save the fact that the beliefs and desires and emotions which butters, butters them overlap those of lots of other members of the group which we, with which they, we identify for purposes of, of moral and political deliberations. <coughs> Arrives at from the side of pragmatism and prudential ethics. The similarity is even greater despite the very different starting points from which these two savants depart. Kantianism without a transcendental subject, a Hegelism without an absolute spirit, and the even more different ends toward which they, they tend. A dream world or transportable, transport, transposable forms, a div, 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 Disheveled one of con 
coincident discourses because royalty too regards individuals distinctions between groups as not only natural but essential to moral reasoning quote the naturalized the naturalized hegelian analog of kentian in tracing human dignity is the comparative dignity of a group with which pers which a person identified herself nations of churches and movement are on this view sh shining historical examples not because they reflect race emanating emanating from a higher source but because of a contrast effect comparison with worse communities persons have dignity not as an interior luminescence but because they share share is in such contrast effect it is a corollary of which of this view that the moral justification of the institutions and practices of one one's groups of the contemporary bourgeoisie is mostly a matter of historical narratives including scenarios about what is likely to happen in certain future contingencies conten contingencies rather than a of philosophical meta-narratives. The principal backup for historiographic is not philosophy but the arts which serves which serves to develop and modify a group a group's self image but for as by for example apote apoteosing apoteosing its hero heroes diabolizing its enemies, mounting dialogues among its members and refocusing its attentions. End of quote. Now as a member of both of both this intellectual tradition myself of I the scientific study of cultural diversi diversity by by profession and by and of postmodern bourgeoisie liberal by general persuasion my own view to get around no, now to that is that an, an easy surrender to the comfort of merely being ourselves <coughs> cultivating deafness and maximizing gratitude for not having been born or a vandal or an Aiki will be fatal to both an anthropology an anthropology so afraid of destroying cultural integrity and creativity our own and everyone else by drawing near to on, to other people engaging them seeking to grasp their then in their immediacy and their difference is destined to perish of an inanish in in no manipulation and of object objectivize objectivizes data sets cannot comp sets can compensate any moral philosophy so afraid of becoming entangled in whistles relativism or transcendental dogmatism that it can think that it can think of nothing better to do with other ways of going at life that make them look worse that our own is destined to merely to conduce and someone has said of the writing of vs naples perhaps our leading adepts are, are constructing such construct effect toward making the world safe and for condens condensation trying to save two disciples from themselves at once may seem like hubris, hubris. but when one has double citizenships one has double obligations the different four the different demeanors and their different hobby horses not withstanding and I confess my, my, myself very much closer to Roti's messy populism than to Levi-Strauss fastidious mandarinism in itself perhaps but a cultural bias of my own these two versions of to which his own morality rests in part away 
any in part anyway on a common view of cultural diversity namely that it that its main importance is that it provides us to use a formula of Burton, Ber Bernard Williams alternatives to us to us as op opposites to alternative for us other beliefs values ways of going on are seen as beliefs we will have believed values we will have held ways we will have gone on gone on had had we been born in some other place or some other time that that in which we are actually were so indeed we will have but such a view seems to make both rather more and a rather less of the fact of cultural diversity that is should rather more because i suggest it suggests that to have had a different life than than one has has in fact has is a practical option one has somehow to make one's mind up about Shall I have been a borobo, a bororo? Am I not fortunate not not to have been an it it rather less because it obscures the power of such diversity when personally addressed to transform our sense of what is what it is for a human being borobo Edity, structural, structuralist or, or postmodern bourgeois liberal to believe, to value or to go on. What is what it is like as author Danto has remarked echoing Thomas Nagel's famous question about the bat to think the world is flat that I look irresistible in my poirier frocks that the rever Reverend Jim Jones, who have who have saved saved me through his love, uh, that animals have no feelings, or that flowers do do, or that punk is where, or that punk is where it's at. The trouble with ethnocentrism is not that it commits us to our own commitments. We are we are by definition so committed as we are to having our own head 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 ashes. the trouble with ethnocentrism is that it impedes us from recovering at what sort of angle like Forrester's Kivifi we stands to the world that sort of bad we really are this view that the puzzle raised by the fact of cultural diversity have more to do with our capacity to feel our way into alien sensibilities, modes of thought, punk rock and pirate frocks. We do not post possess and are not likely to are likely to than they than they with than they do with whether we can escape preferring our own preferences. As a, has a number of implications which bode, 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 bode ill for a where we, we are we and they are they approach to things cultural. The first of these and possibly the most important is that those puzzles arise not merely at the boundaries of our society where we would expect them under such an approach but so to speak at the boundaries of of ourselves foreigners foreigners does not start at the water's edge but at the at the skins the sort of idea that both anthropologists since Malin, Malin, malinowski and philosophers like since wittgenstein are likely to enter, entertain that said she's been other presents a problem but say soccer fans been part of us do not or at least not of the same sort is merely wrong the social world does not divide at its joints into perspicuous perspicuous 
with one with whom we we can empathize however much we did differ with them an enigmatical days with whom we cannot however much we defend to the dead their their right to the fear from us the fox the fox being long before Cal Calais Calais both recent recent anthropology of the from of the native points of view sort which I practice and recent philosophy of the forms of life sort to which I adhere have been made to conspire or seems to conspire in obscuring this fact by an chronic mis misapplication of their most powerful and most important idea the idea that meaning is socially constructed the perception that means that meaning in the forms in the form of interpretable things, signs, sounds, images, feelings, artifacts, gestures, come to exist only within language games, communities of discourse, intersubjective systems of references, reference, ways of world making, worlds of ways of world making that it arises with within the frame of concrete social interaction in which some something is a something for 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 a you and a me and not in some secret growth growth in the head and that and that is it is through and through historical hammered are in the flow of events in read is read to imply as in my opinion, neither my Malinowski nor Wittgenstein, nor for that matter Kuhn or Foucault, means it to imply that human communities are or should be semantic nomads, nearly windowless. We are, say Levi Strauss, passengers in the trains which our our cultures each moving on its own track and its own and at its own speech and in its own direction the trains rolling alongside going in similar directions and at speed and speed not too different from our own are at least reasonably f visible to us as we look out from our compartment but trains on a on an oblique or parallel track which are going in a opposite opposite direction are not we perceive lo lo only a vague fleeting barely identifiable image usually just a mon momentary blur in our visual field supplying no information about itself and merely irritated ir irritating us because it interrupts our placid contemplation of the landscape which serve res serve as the backdrop to our daydreaming Rorty is more cautious and less poetic and I sense and I sense less interested in other people's trains to concern it in is he where is is he where his own is going but the, but he speaks of a more or less accent accidental overlap of belief systems between rich North American bourgeois 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 bourgeois, bourgeois communities and other that we need to talk with with as enabling whatever converse conversation between nations may still be possible the grounding of feelings true and judgment in a form of life which indeed is the only place in my view as it is uh, it is in royalties that they can be grounded is taken to mean that the limits of my world are the limits of my language which is not exactly what the man said what he said of course what the limits that the limits of my language are the limits of my world which implies not the the reach of our minds of what we can say think appreciate and judge is draped within the borders of our society our country our class or or our time but the reach of our minds the range of signs we can manage somehow to interpret 
in what defines the intellectual, emotional and moral space within which we live. The greater that the greater that this the greater that is the greater we can make it become be trying to understand that flat earthers or the Reverend Jim Jones Jim Jones or Eggs of Vandals are all about what it, it is like to be to be them the clearer we become to ourselves both in terms of what we see in others that seems remove remote and what we see them that seems reminiscent that attractive and what repel repellent that simple and that and what quite mad are positions that not that do not align in any simple way for there are some things quite appealing about bats some quite repugnant about ethnographers it is Danto says in that same article I quoted a moment ago the gap between me and those who think differently than I which is to say everyone and not simple those segregated by differences in generation, sex, nationality, sect, and even race, that define the real boundaries of the self. It is the asymmetries, as he also said, or nearly between that we believe or feel and what others do that make it possible to locate where we now are in the world, how it feels to be there, and where we might or might not want to go. To, obscu to obscure those gaps and those asymmetries by rele relegating them to a realm of repressible or ignorance be difference, mere unlikeness, unlikeness, unlikenesses, unlikeness which what ethnocentrism do does and it's designed to do. UNESCO universalism obscures them, obscures them. Levi's choice is quite right about that by denying their reality altogether alt is, is to cut us off from such knowledge and such possibility the possibility of quite, of quite literally and quite drugly changing our minds the hist 5 the history, of, the history of any people separately and all peoples together and indeed of each person individually, individually has been a history of such a changing of minds usually slowly, sometimes more rapidly or in the idealist sound of that disturbs you it ought, it ought not in it is not idealist and it denies neither the natural pressures of fact not the material limits of will, of seeing systems, symbolic forms, cultural traditions. Such changes have not necessarily been the been been for the better, perhaps not even normally. Nor have they lead to a convergence of views, but rather to mingling of them. What back in his blessed Neolithic was indeed one some, something at least rather like Levi Strauss world of integral societies in distant communication had turned it into some something rather more like Dante's postmodern one of clashing sensibilities is in inevitable contact like nostalgia diversity is not what it used to be and the ceiling of lives in separate railway railway carriage to produce cultural renewal or the spacing of them out or spacing them out which contracts if eff effects to free up moral energy are romantical dreams no not on the not on dangerous the general tendency that i remarked in opening for the cultural spectrum to become pillar and more continuous without becoming less discriminate indeed it is probably becoming more discriminate as a symbolic form split and proliferate others not just it bearing on moral arguments but the character of such argument itself 
We have become used to the idea that scientific concepts change with changes in the sort of concern on to which scientists address themselves. That one does, does not need to the calculus to determine the velocity of a chariot of quantal energies to explain the swing, the swing of a pendulum. But we are rather less aware that the same things is true on of the speculative instruments to borrow an old an old to borrow an old term of the IE the EA Richards which deserves to be resuscitated of moral res reasoning ideas which su su ideas which suffice for Levi Strauss magnificence differences do not for Dantos troubling asymmetri asymmetries and it and it is the later with which we find ourselves increasingly faced. More, more concretely, moral issues steaming from cultural diversity, which are, of course, far from being all, all the moral issues there are that uses, that uses to arise when they arose at all, mainly between societies, the customs contrary to reason and morals, sort of things, sort of thing on which imperialism fed, now increasingly arise within them. Social and cultural boundaries coincide less and less so closely. There are Japanese in Brazil, Turks on the main, the West Indians mid east in the streets of Birmingham, and so a sublime process which has of course been going on for quite time for quite some time Belgium can Canada Lebanon South Africa and the Caesar Rome was not all that homo was not all that homogeneous but which is by now approaching stream and near universal proportions the day when the American city was the main model of cultural fragmentation and ethnic tumbling, tumbling is quite gone. The Paris of non Antares de Glaulois is getting to be about as polyglo polyglot and as polychrome as Manhattan and may yet have, have an Asian mayor or so anyway many of less Gaula fair. Moral before New York has an has an is, Hispanic one. This rising within the body of a society inside the boundaries of we of wretched moral issues concerning around cultural diversity and the implications that has for our general problems the future of ethnocentrism can perhaps be made rather more vivid with an example, not a made not a made up scientific fiction one uh, scientific fiction one about water on anti worlds or people whose memories in charge while they they are asleep of which philosophers have recently grown rather to found in my opinion but a real one or at least one represented to me as as real but the anthropologist who told it who told it to me the case of the drunken Indian the drunken Indian and the kidney machine the case is simple however knocked this resolution the extreme the the extreme storage due to the great expense of artificial kidney machines led naturally enough to the establishment of a few years ago of a quelling process for access to them by patients needing dialysis in a government medical program in the southern southwestern United States di directed also naturally enough by young idealistic doctors from major medical schools largely no north northeastern for the treatment to be effective at least over an extended period of time strict discipline as to diet and other matter is necessarily on the part of the patients on the part of the patients as a public enterprise governed 
by anti-discrimination codes on any way, as I said, I say morally motivated, queering, queering was organized not in terms of the power of to pay, but simply sever severity of need and order of application, a policy which led with the usual twists of practical logic. The problem of the drunken Indian. The Indian, after gaining access to the scare machine, refused to the great consternation of the doctors to stop or even control his drinking, which was prodigious. His position under some sort of principle like the like that of Flannery, Flannery O'Connor's I mentioned earlier of remaining on oneself whatever other might wish to make to make of you was I am I am, I am indeed a drunken Indian. I have been one of one for quite some time and I intend to go on being one for as so long as you can as you can keep me alive by holding me holding me up to this damn machine of yours. The doctors whose values were ra rather different already regarded the Indian as blocking access to the machine by other on the on the Queen in no less desperate straits who cool as they saw it make better use of its benefits a young middle class type said rather like themselves destined for college and who knows medical school and the Indian was already on the machine by the time the problem became visible they could not quite bring themselves nor I suppose Will, will they have been permitted to take him off it but they were very deeply upset at least as as upset as the Indian who was disciplined enough to show up promptly for all these his appointments was resolute and surely will have devised some reason ostensibly medical to displace him from his position in the queue had they seen in the what they was going he continued to on the machine and they continued this drug for several years until proud as i imag as imagine him grateful true not true not to the doctors to have had a somewhat extended life in which to drink and quite unapologetic he died now the point of this title little fable in real life in real time is not that it shows how in insensitive doctors can be they were not insensitive and they they had a case or how adrift indians have become he he was not adrift he knew exactly where he was not to suggest that either the doctor's values that is approximately approximately ours the Indians that is approximately not ours or some transparent judgment draws from philosophy or anthropology an issue for by one of Ronald Dawkins Herculean judges should have prevailed. It was a it was a hard case and it, it ended in a hard way but I cannot see the Either more ethnocentrism, more relativism, or more neutrality will have made things any better. Through, through more imagination may have. The point of the fable, I'm not sure is it properly has a moral, it that is that it is this sort of things, not the distinct tribe enfolded upon itself in coherent difference. They ask ascend or the ick that fascinate philosophers only slightly less less than science fiction fantasies do perhaps because they can made into subla sublunary martians and renegated according accordingly that best presence is if somewhat melodramatically the general form that value conf conflict rising out of cultural diversity takes nowadays 
the antagonists here if that's what if if that's what they were were not representative of turning in social totalities meeting have a far a farsadly along the ages of their beliefs indians holding faith at a bay without without alcohol are much a, as as much a part of contemporary america as are doctors correcting correcting it with machines if you want to see just how at least so far as the indians are concerned i assume you know about doctors you can read james hell's sh shocking novel winter in the blood the blood where the contracts contract effects come out rather oddly if there was any failure here and to be fair is it is difficult at a distance to tell precisely how much there was it was a failure to grasp grasp on either side that it was to be on the other and thus what in it was to be on the w one's one own no one at least to s to so it is seems learned very much in this ep episode about either themselves or about anyone else and nothing at all beyond the banal the banalities of disgust disgust and bitterness about the characters of their encounter it is not that inability of those involved to abandon their convic convictions and adopt the views of other that makes this little tale seems so utterly des depressing not it is the lack of a this this incorporate moral rule the greatest god or the difference principle which will seem ha, as a matter of fact to give different result here to which to appeal it is the ab inability ever to conceive amid the mystery of difference how one might get round and all to all genuine moral asymmetry the whole thing took place in the dark Michigan Quarterly Review 6 What tends to take place in the dark the only thing of which a certain deafness of the appeal of the other values values or a comparison with worse communities conception of human dignity will seem to allow allow is either the application of force to secure conformity to the values of those who possess the force a vacuous tolerance that engaging nothing nothing change nothing or as here where the force is unavailable and the tolerance unnecessary a dribbling out to an ambiguous end it is surely the case that there are in instances there where these are in fact the practical alternatives there doesn't seem see much to do about the reverend jones once he is in full cry but physically not to stop him before he hand he hands out the cool aid if people think punk rock is where is where it's at then at least so long as they don't play it, as don't play it in the subway is their ears and their funeral and it's and it is difficult some bats are bt are better than others to know just how one og to proceed with someone who holds that flowers have feeling and that animals do not paternalism indifference even so so supersede supercialness are not always un useful attitudes to take to value differences even even to ones more cons consequential than this the problem is to know when they are useful and diversity can safely be left to its cons con connoisseurs and then 
as I think is more often the case and increasingly so they are not and it cannot and something more is needed an imaginative entry into an admittance of an alien turn of mind in our society the cons connoisseur par, par excellence or alien turns of mind has been the ethnographer, the historian too, to a degree and in a different in a different way the novelist, but I want to get back on my own res reservation. Dramatizing oddest extolling extolling diversity and breath breathing broad mind mindedness. Whatever differences in method or, or theory have separated us we have been alike in that professionally obsess obsessed with worlds elsewhere and with making them comprehensive, comprehensible first to ourselves and then through conceptual devices not so different from those of historians, historians and literary ones do so different from those of novelists to our, our readers and so long as those worlds really were elsewhere where Malinowski found them and Levi-Strauss re remembers then this was so difficult enough as a practical task relatively unproblematical and an, as an analyti analytical one we could think about primitives, savages, natives as we thought about Martians as, possi as possible ways of feeling, res reasoning, judging, judging and behaving of, of going on discontinuous with, with, with our own alternative to us now that those worlds and those aliens turn off mine are mostly not really elsewhere but alternative for us are nearby in stand gaps between the between me and those who think differently than, uh, than I a certain readjustment in both our rhetorical habits and our sense of mission will seem to be called for the use of cultural diversity is of its study its, descrip its description, its analysis and its comprehension lie less along the lines of sorting ourselves out sorting ourselves out from others from others and others from ourselves so as to defend group group integrity and sustain groups loyalty than to define the terrain reason must across must cross if its modest reward are to be re reached and realized this terrain is uneven, full of sudden faults and dangerous passes, passage, passages where accidents can and, can and do happen and cross it or trying to do little or nothing to smooth, it, to smooth it out to a level safe on broken plane but simply makes visible its clefts and contours if our peremptory doctors and our intransigent Indians or Rotis rich North, North Americans and those we need to talk with are to confront one another in a less destructive way and it is far from certain the clefts are real that they actually can they must explore the character of the space between them it is they thems it is they themselves who who must finally to do this there is no substitute for local knowledge here nor for courage either but maps and charts may still be useful and tables tales pictures and descriptions even theories if they attend to the actual as well the uses of ethnography and mainly ancillary but they are not not non less not less real like the compiling of dictionaries dictionaries of the grinding of, of lenses it is our will be or will be an 
enabling discipline. And what is enable? Then it do so. It uh, is a working contact with a variant subjectivity. It plays particular we wis among particular days and days among wis. We were all, as I have been saying already, are ho however, un honestly, uni honestly. It is the great enemy of ethnocentrism, of confi confiding people to cultural planets, where the only idea ideas they need to conjure, conjure with, with are those around here. Not because it assumes people are all alike, but because it knows how profoundly they are not and how unable yet to dis disregard one another. Whatever once wa once was possible and whatever may now be long longed for, the sovereignty of the familiar impoverished everyone to the degree it has a future, our, ours is dark. It is not that we must love one another or die, it that in the case blacks and Africaners, Arabs and Jews, Tamils and Sinhalese, we are, I think, doomed. It is that we must know one another and live with that knowledge, or end maroned in a becked world of collating soliloquy. The job of ethnography, or one of the, one of them, anyway, is indeed to provide, like the arts and history, narratives and scenarios to re refocus our attention. Not, however, one ones that render us acceptable, acceptable to ourselves by representing others and gathered into worlds we don't want and cannot arrive at, but ones which make us visible to ourselves by representing us and everyone else as cast into the minds of a world full of irrenovable, irrenovable strangeness we can keep clear of. Until, until fairly recently, the matter now is changing, in, past, in part at least because of ethnography's impact, but mostly because the world is changing. Ethnography was fairly well, done, well alone in, the, in this, for history did, it, did in fact spend much of this, its time conforming our, our self-esteem and supporting our sense that we were getting somewhere by apotheosizing apot 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 our heroes and diabolizing our enemies, or with keening over vanished greatness, greatness. The social comments of novelists was for the most part internal, one part of Western consciousness holding a mirror, tropically flat or Dostoevsky's curve up to another, and even travel writing, which at least attend to exotic surfaces, surfa surface, jungles, camels, bazaars, temples, mostly employed the, to, mostly employing them to demonstrate the re resilience of received receive vir virtues in trying circumstances. The Englishman remaining calm, the Frenchman re rational, the American innocent. Now, when it, it is not so alone and the strangeness it has to deal with are growing more oblique and more shaded, less easily set off as wild anomalies, men who think themselves descend, descended from wallabies or who are convinced that they can be murdered with a si slight sidelong glance, it task locating those strangeness and describing their shapes may be in some ways more difficult, but it is hardly less necessary. Imagining differences, different imagining difference, which of course do not do not means making it up, but making it evident remains a science of which we all have need. Seven. But my purpose here is not to defend the prerogatives, 
prerogatives of a homespun Wiesencraft who whose pattern of of the study of cultural diversity if it ever had one how long as long has long since its spirit my purpose is to suggest that we have we have come to such a point in the moral history of the world a history a history himself of course anything but moral that we are ob obligated to think about such diversity rather differently than we have been used to think about it. If it is in fact getting to be the case that rather than being sorted into framed units, social spaces with definite edges to them, seriously disparate approaches to life are beginning scrambled together in ill-defined space spaces social spaces whose edges are unfixed infixed irregular and difficult to locate the question of how to deal with the puzzles of judgment to which such disparities give rise takes on a rather different aspect confronting landscapes and still leaves leaves in one thing panoramas and college quite another that is the la the later of with this days confront that we are living more and more in the mind in the midst of an enormous college seems everywhere ap apparent it is not just the evening news where assassinations in india bombings in lebanon coups in africa and shootings in central america are set amid local dis disasters hardly more legible and followed by grave discussions of japanese ways of business persians form of passion of or arab styles of negotiation it is also an enormous explosion of translation good bad and indifferent from and to language from and to languages tamil indonesian hebrew and urdu previously regarded as marginals as uh, marginals and recounted the migration of cuisines cost costumes furnishings and decor captains in san francisco colonel sanders in jakarta bar tools in kyoto the appearance of gameland themselves them teams in avant-garde jazz indio myth and latino novels magazine images in uh, african paintings but most of all, it is that the person we encor encounter in the grocery store is, al is al likely or nearly to come from Korea or from as from Iowa, in the post office from Algeria as from the Auvergne, in the bank from Bombay as from Liverpool, even rural settings where a likeness is likely to be move more stretched are not are not immune mexican farmers in the southwest vietnamese f fishermen along the gulf coast iranian physicians physicians in the midwest i need not go of on multiplying of multiplying examples you can you can all think of ones of ones of your own uh, you you can all think of one of your own out of of your own traffickings with your own surroundings not all this diversity is equally consequential joinja cooking will survive fingers leaking good equal immediate equally immediate you don't need to grasp the religious beliefs of the man who sells your postage stamps now does it all stem from a cultural contrast of a clear-cut sort but that the world is coming of each of its local points to look like to look more like a quite bazaar than like an English gentleman's club. To inst to instance what to my mind perhaps because I have never been in either of them are the polar cases. Seems shatteringly shatteringly clear. Ethnocentrism of either the the how the lost eggs of or of the teeter but for the grace of culture sought may 
may or not may or may not be consistent with the human species but it is but it is now quite difficult for most of us to know just where in the gar in the grand assemble of just opposed indifference to center so center it les milieu are all mix mixes they don't make unwell like they used to do our response to this to it seems to me commanding fact is so it also seems to me one of the major moral challenges with this with this day's face ingredient in virtually all the other we face from nuclear disarmament disarmament to the equitable distribution of the world resources and it in facing it conceals of this indiscriminate tolerance which are anyway not genuinely meant and my target here of surrender proud cheerful defensive or designed to the pleasure of individuals comparison serves equally badly throughout the later is perhaps the more dangerous because the more likely to be followed the image of a world full of people of passionately so passionately fond of each other cultures that they aspire only to celebrate one another does not seem to be to me a clear of and present danger to me a clear and present danger the image of one full of people happily apotheo apotheosing apotheosi apotheosizing apotheosizing their heroes and diabolizing their enemies alas does it is not necessary to choose indeed it is it is necessary not to choose between cosmopolitanism without contest and parochialism without tears neither are of use for living in a college to live in a college to live in a college one must in the first place render oneself capable of sorting of out its elements determining determining that they are that they are which actually involves determining where they come from and what they amounted to when they were there and how practically they relate to one another without at the same time blurring ones blurring one's own sense of one's own locations and she's own identity with it less figuratively understanding in the sense of compre comprehension perception and insights needs to be distinguished from understanding in the sense of agreement of opinion union of sentiment or cause com commonality of commitment the je, je vois je vois i compris the de gaulle untered from the je vois i compris and pierre noir heart we must learn to grasp what we cannot embrace the difficulty in this enormous and it has always been comprehending that which is in some manner of form alien to us and likely to remind to remind so without either smoothing it over with vacant murmurs of common humanity disarming it with to each to each his own indifferentism or the this dismissing or as a charming lovely even but in consequent but in consequent it is a skill we have an ar arduously to learn and having learned it always very perfectly work conscious consciously consciously work consciously to keep alive it is not it is not a con natural capacity like depth perception of the sense of lay balance upon which we can com com complacently re rely it is in this strength strengthening strengthening the power of our imagination to ga to grasp that it is, is in front of us that the uses of diversity and of the study of diversity lie 
if we have, and as I admit, I have more than a sentiment sentimental sympathy with that refractory American Indian, it is not because we hold his views. Alcoholism is indeed an evil, and kidney machines are ill applied to his victims. Our sympathy devices derives from our knowledge of the degree to which he has earned his views and the bitter sense that is therefore in them, is them, in them. Our comprehension of this terrible road over which he has to travel to arrive at them and for for what it is, ethnocentrism and the crimes it, legit, it legitimates that has made it so terrible. If we wish to be able capaciously to judge, as of course we must, we need to make ourselves able capaciously to see, and for that we that what we have already seen, the insides of our railway, railway compartments, the shining historical examples of our ra nations, our churches, churches, and our movement is an engrossing as the one may be and that's light as the other simply not enough